So our moi moi is ready. I've just finished cooking this moi moi with raw egg and beans. That is the pot of moi moi there. This is the ones we have unwrapped. Some in the plate and some wrapped with the moi moi leaf. Do you like this moi moi? If you like it, please join me as I cook this moi moi. If you like this moi moi, it's ready. I'm going to start cooking right now. Don't go anywhere. Stay as we cook together. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please don't forget to subscribe and to hit the boy the bell button beside the subscribe button so you get notifications every time that we post. Enjoy our lovely moi moi made with raw egg and beans. Thank you. Bye. Oh, sorry, not bye. Don't go nowhere. Stay. Let's start cooking. <laughs> Here's my beans already washed. I'm going to make this moi moi with six cups of beans. That's about one modu. It's washed clean. So we are going to blend it now with this pepper and onion. So here is the here is the beans already blended. Very, very smooth, smooth, smooth like I wrote on my blog. Beans for moi moi has to be really, really smooth, not like akara. For akara, I don't care, but for moi moi, the, the, the way beans is, bl is blended is how your moi moi will taste. I don't really know. Is it taste or feel? If you want very soft moi moi, you have to blend your beans really, really smooth. Very, very important. So this is our beans now. It's back blended. The first thing I'm going to add is the raw eggs. These are my two raw eggs. I've added I'm going to continue mixing or whisking this if you have an electric mixer or a stand mixer manual or electric you can use to do this because I want the egg to really really mix and then to aerate the beans while we are stirring this thing we are trapping in air so it will give a more, more very good texture so I'll just keep doing this. I will not just do this for about five minutes before I add the remaining ingredients. So I've been mixing for so long. It's time to add the seasoning cubes. Here are my seasoning cubes. I want to add boiling water. I have a kettle of boiling water waiting for the mama. I want to use it on the cubes because I don't want to chew cubes in my food so the boiling water has dissolved these cubes as soon as it dropped inside I just poured in the seasoning cubes dissolved with hot water Okay, now the oil is properly mixed so I can check for salt and if the salt is okay out of the thickness I need to add a little bit more water I'll drop some warm water here to make it lighter I don't like hard more moi I like my moi soft Salt is okay for now. I'll check again when I add a little bit of water. So, see, it's very runny. <laughs> That's how I like my blended beans for moi moi. It has to be runny so that when it's cooked, the moi moi won't be hard. I like my moi moi feeling soft and buttery. So, right now, we are going to wrap and drop in the pot. So, let me show you what I did to my pot. Because we are going to steam this moment, this is the pot I'll be using. And here is what I did. 
this is a rack from my microwave i'm going to put this microwave rack on the bottom of the pot so my momoi can sit up here while the water will be under there because i don't want the momoi to touch any water at all so we are going to wrap and place here and then pour in the boiling water and start cooking I have to pour it gently. And I checked and the salt is okay. You have to remember to check. And too much salt can just destroy your pot of moi moi. So you have to be careful with salt when making moi moi. For me, it's better when the salt is not okay and I can sprinkle while eating than adding too much salt while mixing the beans. So I'm going to drop in one egg. Sometimes I cut the eggs. Like today, I don't have the energy to start cutting this egg. So whoever gets an egg is lucky. If you are going to add corn beef to your moi moi, this is the right time to add the corn beef when everything is done. Or you can just keep the corn beef in a different plate and then while wrapping, you cut little particles of the corned beef and drop in the moi moi before wrapping. So you don't blend your beans with the corned beef, no. You put it at the final stage, like now that we are dropping in the eggs, that's how I add corned beef. I'll link this post to my moi moi made with corn beef so that you see. Let me show you the moi moi sitting. I'm using dried moi moi leaves for this. I just soaked them in water for about a minute and then washed. I've had these leaves for some time now and we didn't keep them in the freezer so they are dry. So you can see the momo is sitting on the microwave rack that I used. That is the metal rack there. So the water is not going to touch our momo. I just want you to see it. Yeah, we are done. The bucket of blended beans is empty right now. The momo leaves were not enough. Thank God for the momo plates I had on standby. So our moi moi plates to the rescue. We had to pour the remaining beans into these moi moi plates. So we are going to cover and drop in the pot. Then the cooking begins. Sometimes I use this moi moi plate, I don't even bother wrapping, even though I know that cooking with leaves, moi moi with leaves is the best actually. We gain some nutrients from the moi moi leaves and not only that, the flavor is very very original and different. So this is how I make my moi moi plates. I will still drop on the rack, if there were no leaves, I would drop this on the rack, put water under and steam. So right now I'm just going to drop this plate.
in the pot. They will just stand there in the pot. Let me pour some boiling water in the corner, just the corner of the pot. Enough to cover the bottom of the pot, then we cover and start the cooking. In 45 minutes, this momo is cooked, but because of the quantity, I'll just wait for one hour and the momo is ready. So I'm going to put the lid on now, turn on the heat, and the cooking has begun. So it's one hour exactly since we put the momo in the pot. I think it's ready right now. I'm going to bring out some. The plates are sitting on the wrapped moimoi leaves. We're going to see the end result of this moimoi made with raw eggs and beans. This is a delicious moimoi cooked with raw egg. And beans. I like this. Mm. Oh. So let's unwrap one of the leaves and see. Mm. Delicious. Oh. We are done. That is the end result of the moimoi. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Join me as I take it with some soaked gari.